Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Mark and this is Mark's Coding Project. Uh, in today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about, um, basically I'm going to need to reorder a lot of the code. So I'm, I apologize, it's been a while since I, well, I say a while, I've basically skipped an upload day. Um, I had to spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to solve this problem. Basically what we had was, was we had that the mouse input wasn't responding correctly. So it wasn't displaying images to the board. Um, then, yeah, we're just, it's been a bit of a headache to be honest with you. And I've sort of, it's just hit me that we need to really rejig the code. So I thought I would put in a video sort of explaining where we're up to at the moment and then progressing from there. So first thing you'll notice this new mouse input class. So what we've done is we've moved the label code. Well, essentially we've made the entire class a J label and we've implemented the mouse listener. So this creates the label that you construct and these define the environment, the um, size and location. And then the mouse listener is handling mouse clicked and the other four, which we're ignoring at the moment. I had to move the get x set x and get clicks and set clicks into the mouse input um, class and that's because the get x and get clicks both refer to mouse activity so obviously it had to be inside of mouse input. The problem I'm finding is that with the get move, well get move GUI method being in main class, there's first of all there's a bit of lag moving between mouse input so making the calculations necessary in mouse input passing the data across to main class to calculate the row etc then we shove that um, information onto the test multiple connections so we can well i mean we display a board but within that we're also having to loop through and go into a second method and display each individual image and it's just it's it's a very long process that doesn't really need to be quite so overcomplicated. So what I think, I mean, if we go crazy, we could probably put all of this functionality into mouse input and test multiple connections. That's possible. I mean, this is only 85 lines long, so it's doable. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure at the moment. I'm trying to decide how much functionality is worth leaving in main class. And because obviously main class also is our only route to the server. So but it could it could potentially just be a mouthpiece. So we move the game logic to either mouse input or we move it to test multiple connections and we just have this relaying information back and forth to the server. That's possible. Equally, we could just do a really small move where we just put get move into, I don't know, mouse input, and then we leave the rest of the code as it is. I quite like the first option because I think it makes more sense to have the game loop. Say we move, move, say we move the get move GUI method. We might as well move the game loop at that point because that's basically the whole reason you know, the game loop is literally move, move that's it. You know, that's the whole point of it, really. So, is there much utility having, like, say we say we remove this line? Let's see. And then after that, is it worth? Yeah. So we we put the get move into I don't know mouse input, and then we have to pass. We still have to pass the information back from mouse input over to the um, this um, this method here. Oh, sorry, back to the game state. Oh, it's tricky. The main problem we're having in terms of lag is the fact that we've got, we've just, I've just got to put in a while loop. And the while loop basically says, as long as the user hasn't picked the screen, you just got to keep on printing out. And basically we're printing out the value zero, which not going to lie, it's a really crap solution. But without it, the the main class just doesn't register input from mouse input, which is just so frustrating. So if I like literally if I remove this code, which by the way, as far as I'm, you know, certainly from a technical standpoint, this code uh, print statement shouldn't affect 
the outputs of say get x, <coughs> um, get clicks, that kind of thing. But the minute I comment this out, it breaks. It's so, so annoying. So yeah, that's where we're up to. Um, I will talk to you a little bit about kind of the mouse input integration. So if we go over to our test multiple, multiple connections, what we've basically done is we've, like I said, we've removed the code um, for the actual label and we've placed it in mouse input. We then make a new mouse input object. Um, we've then, we've defined a mouse input as an attribute of our test multiple connections. So we have a global variable, which makes sense. So like you can't have the J frame without the input panel, essentially. That's what mouse input is. Mouse input is a input panel. So what I've done is I've basically we've created that object in the same place that we had the label before. Um, I needed to set the size and the location because before when I wasn't doing that, it was it was causing some issues. So we've set the size and the location. I don't know if these lines actually do anything. I'm not entirely sure. Certainly when I put them in, they I think it was the correct size. It was just the fact that the location was wrong. So I'm not not quite sure why that's happening. I mean, I used a set layout and I'll see if that fixed it, but it didn't. So basically we've got two, we've got duplicate lines, which I'm not too fussed about, to be honest with you. Either way, we set the size and the label, of, set the size and location of the label inside the label. We then do it again in ref, inside of our J frame class this time. So our J frame is setting the size and location as well. Um, we then finally, we then add that to the screen. Um, we could use, um, we could, yeah, I guess it, for consistency, it'd be better to use getters and setters, but to be honest with you, it doesn't make a huge amount of difference whether we use M input or we use get M input, it's the same value because we're not making any alterations to it. It's just, it's a global variable, so you've got to add on the side of caution, really. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean, that's all the change. I mean, obviously, the gets and setters down here, but that, yeah, that's all the changes for this class. Um, mouse input, I've shown you. And main class. Oh, I will say something that is quite useful. Um, this this function will, well, sorry, this method will eventually get deleted. The This is the original, the OG get move method where we use the console. Um, it's good to keep it around because it doesn't, enable me to test mouse input, for example. So we once I moved the code to the new class, it was a good way of testing um, <coughs> the, the, like the meth, the, sorry, that's a really bad example. That's not true at all. Forget mouse input. Um, get move helped me to debug a lot of the display image code. <clears throat> so if say get move GUI wasn't picking up the board, or at least input wasn't registering and there was an issue with images, I could identify the issues with images using get move by keeping it around. So if I make any changes to this, uh, display image, etc., I I've still got a method which I'm much more confident that it works, you know, because it's console based and everything. And this has been running for ages and it's fine. So I can use this to test alterations we make to test multiple connections before I use the GUI version, which is a bit more temperamental, shall we say. Um, pretty sure I went all over all of this, this big else if statement. Basically, we just have um, the value. So if X is greater and X is the location of the mouse click, or certainly the X coordinate of the mouse click, if that value is greater than 447, which is the um, kind of, what would you call it? It's the boundary between the sixth and the seventh column in a board. I'm better off to show you, to be honest. Let me, let me run one and I'll show you guys. But yeah, basically, um, I put all of these are boundaries between two columns on the board. If it's greater than the cover value, then it goes into the column to the right. If it's less than, it goes to the column on the left. 
And that's about it really. It's just it's easier to kind of explain it. Yeah, so you see here on the board, like, I don't know, say this is like 447 over here, and then this is what three, what's the value? 372. Whatever it is. And then these these are basically where the if statements check. If it's greater than it goes here, if it's greater than there, it goes here, greater than that. Yeah. That's how it does it. It's really, really simple. Because basically all, just, all we need is just, we needed a grid on top of our um, game board, basically, that would accept input. And that's what we've now got with this J label. So, you know, is there anything else? Not really. Again, like it's it's weird because it's kind of the, the project's kind of getting to the point where I mean, look at this, it's like, that's 200, 200 odd lines. This is, <clears throat> yeah, to, you know, it's, we're getting close to a thousand lines. I'm pretty sure we're getting close to a thousand lines. It's, I mean, it's certainly my biggest project to date, which I'm, I'm pretty proud of. Okay, that's, maybe that was a bit, uh, a bit of an overestimate on a thousand lines, but we're pushing it, we're pushing it, okay. It's certainly the biggest thing I've ever done, and then you know there's lots of different components to it what with the server and everything so i think there is probably a bit of overlap of different functionality which certainly i've never experienced in a project before but it's a good learning curve i like it um but the top and bottom basically of this video is that the functionality the mouse functionality needed to be split out so you'll notice that Test multiple connections. Yeah, see this dead in, uh, import statement at the top. We used to implement mouse listener, now it doesn't. Um, we can get rid of that. Sadly, losing a couple of my lines. And we move that functionality into mouse input. In a larger scale project, I would be tempted to run this in a separate thread, but don't. Well, I mean, we're going to find out. To be fair, hopefully, it's just a case that the pro the project is currently a bit slow. Um, but hopefully it's just a case of map for going from mouse input into the main class. And if we move the data from, well, sorry, the method from main class into mouse input, that should be eliminated and the project should run fine. If, however, it doesn't, then it is going to be worth putting mouse input possibly into a separate thread, which is going to make things a lot more complicated. But hey ho, what can you do? So hopefully, hopefully I will come back to you guys with another video where we will have organized all of this into, you know, either mouse input or test multiple connections, whichever one's better. And the program will be running much more quickly. We won't have this really annoying while loop. Where is it? the absolute bane of my existence. This thing absolutely sucks. I hate it. Honestly, it's the worst. It's such a bad solution. It's literally just while nothing has happened, just spin. That's basically all it's doing. It's so, so terrible. But I couldn't come up with anything better at the time. I think I'm just, I'm just very sentimental about main class because it's like the first thing that I, I built in the project. And now it's like, actually, we're going to completely scrap you. <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty fun. Anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed and I hope this video has been useful. As always, please do like, comment and subscribe. And I know I said this was going to be my last Connect4 video, but I think we've probably got one more to go. Um, I might keep, keep working on it in my own time, give you guys some updates. I'm not sure. I know I feel like I've been slacking off with progress, but honestly, like this week has just been a bit mental. So part of me is like, well, maybe it was just a bit crazy. And I'm like writing off this project too too quickly. I don't know. I honestly don't know. But um, yeah, certainly if you guys can give me any sort of opinions on which project you'd prefer to see. So sort of more like a research learning project with lightweight Java game library or uh, a continuation of this trying to go to new heights, essentially. Either way, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video.